Hey guys, thanks for watching. First off, can we talk about how fast the summer went? Yeah, it flew by. So this is around the time when you're really, 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 really confused about what to wear, even with makeup, because you're eager to get into those darker earth tone colors, but then you're still grabbing onto those beautiful summer colors that are just are going way too fast so I wanted to I put this look together it has some brighter um, summer colors and it also has some darker fall colors so that you can transition and carry this look throughout that little in between season I also put a, a cute little outfit together for you guys if you want to stick around after the tutorial to watch I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are interested in, in getting in how I got this look just keep watching thanks hello 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 okay guys let's get started i know right what a difference with my face first thing you always want to do to make sure your foundation stays put is prime your face i'm using maybelline's baby baby skin primer which is supposed to be like a do for benefits perfectional but it really isn't this just sort of blurs your pores the perfection perfectional actually like fills them in next up is foundation i'm using L'Oreal's True Match foundation in shade W7 and I'll be applying this with my Sigma F80 Flathead Kabuki brush. I really really like this foundation um, because my face is lighter than my whole body so sometimes when I get like foundations that have like that pink undertone it just looks like I'm exaggerating a lot more so having a foundation that has like these warm yellowish undertones really helps next up is concealer I'm using Maybelline's Insta H Rewind concealer which is my absolute favorite I know this looks a little light but we'll blend 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 with my beauty blender also, I like to add a little bit on the bridge of my nose and also bounce my beauty blender to tap and blend all this in. With my Sigma F05 contour brush, I'm going to lightly contour the hollows of my cheeks and then the corners of my forehead as well as my under my chin with my Physicians Formula bronzer. You might you want to build this bronzer up because it starts out a little bit orangey, but then you know the longer you twirl your brush around, it sort of turns into this pretty really matte look. Now using my Eco Tools blush brush, I'm going to be applying my new favorite blush by e.l.f. It's such a nice rosy purplish color, looks great on darker skin, especially now that you're like sort of tan, you want to avoid those like pale pink colors and you know, you're not, you know, no one is ever into those bright reds. So this really works for me. I love how natural it looks. After blending my face my face products, I usually like to use L'Oreal Setting Powder. I've been using this forever and I just love how soft and silky this feels on my face. Like totally must and it's so inexpensive. Using this Heart Candy Contour Palette, I'm going to contour my nose just to make it appear a little bit smaller. All I do is draw lines on the edges of my nose and then blend downwards towards my cheek cheeks in continuously circle circle your motions. And then of course just blend 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 this in till those lines disappear. After that, I'm going to be priming my eyes with Rimmel's Exaggerate Undercover Shadow Primer. Um, I didn't really like this um, primer. It was my first time using it and it was really too runny for my liking because I do have like sort of oily lids. So um, I don't recommend this but it did hold up okay while I was working with it. Now I'm going to be putting some tape on my outer corners of my lids just to help and minimize all those loose powders from going everywhere.
Next, I'm going in with this pretty taupe brown color from the e.l.f. Holiday Trio palette using my Sonia Cashew Tapered Blending Brush. To, I'm just using this color as a transitional color, so it doesn't really matter how you apply it. Just make sure, you know, it blends pretty good. If anyone is interested in for a dupe for Sigma's E40 blending brush, this Sonia Cashew um, tapered blending brush is it. It's only a dollar at Target, and it's seriously like a dupe for um, for Sigma's E40 brush. So go out and get it before it runs out. Before they run out, not before it runs out. <laughs> First color up for this look is this sunny yellow color from NYC's mini dual color palette that I picked up the other day. I'm shading this in pretty heavy and pretty much focusing on my inner lid and also dragging it down to my lower lash line. Right beside that yellow, I'm going to add the second color of the palette, this fluorescent orange. Oh my gosh, I really liked how this turned out. Um, the camera really didn't do it justice because this is like really bright, but it's not shiny. It's kind of, um, it was sort of just like a matte color, but it was just really popping except it wasn't shiny. So. Which is a good thing because going into cooler, um, weather I don't really like to add a lot of shimmer shimmer to my eyes next up brown I'm going to be taking this uh, soft dome blending brush from makeup geek and I'm placing this dark brown color on the corners of my eyes and I'm just going to go in pretty heavy and then just go ahead and blend it all in I'm going to take that lightest color in that palette and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone my brow bone. I do like to do this just to define sort of like where I need to place my eyebrows. <laughs> Since I'll be drawing them in in just a few minutes. Now it's liner time. I think I'm pretty much the only person that still uses liquid liner. <laughs> Everyone else seems to have moved on with the gel liners, but I just can't get really a hang of them. Um, and I still need a lot of practice with my liquid liners anyhow. But it's just all about practice, pra practice. The key is just to go back and forth between your eyes to make sure they match. You can always take a wet cloth and just sort of clean them up. I'll go back to my eyes. I just want to let that liner dry a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and line my eyebrows with or draw my eyebrows in with NYX. Um, what is this called? Automatic brow pencil. After that, I'm going to fill them in with NYX's um, eyebrow cake powder. I'm going to take some concealer and a brush and just going to clean out any loose powders and just make very sharp looking eyebrows. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm using L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara, which is my new favorite. This little brush really lets you dig in there. Um, now I'm going to be using Maybelline's Gel Liner to line my waterline. 
And now going back into that elf palette, I'm going to use that light color and I'm going to re-highlight my brow bone. Also, I'm going to place it on my inner lot. Using that same dark brown shade I used above, I'm going to smudge it on my lower lid just to give it a soft, smoky look. After you're done, I'm just going to put some more mascara on my lower lash line and also on my top lashes. For my lips, I'm using Rimmel's Lip Pencil in Peachy Pink. I'm lining my lips and also filling my upper lip just to mute out the pigmentation on my upper lip because my upper lip is a lot darker than my bottom lip as you can tell. So just filling it in sort of lets it match and let my lipstick go in a lot nicer. For lipstick, I'm using Milani's number 26 Nude Cream. And I'm topping this off with NYX's Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie just to add that shine. I'm taking the highlighter from that contour and face trio from Heart Candy and I'm going to just add a little bit of highlight above my, on my cheekbone, above my cheekbone. And for a sassy pout, I'm going to be adding that same highlighter on my cupid's bow. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this look and I hope you like how it turned out. Please, if you recreate this look, tag me at MissAbigailXO on Instagram. I would love to see your take on this look. And now for outfit details, my jeans are from Forever 21. My Guarache style sandals are from Rue 21. And this gorgeous, super sassy, off-white tassel crop top is also from Forever 21. My headband was a gift. All my jewelry except for my cuff are from Charlie Roos. The cuff is an old piece I've had forever that I got at a thrift shop. Earrings are also from Charlie Roos. See you guys later.